connected to your, your PCB valve. It's back there somewhere. And that just connects in there. But I found if you get a new one and you just put it on there, it splits. So I put a little oil on there. And I push it in. It seems to work pretty well. So this is cylinder seven. Cylinder six. That's cylinder five. Pull this out. Connect the connector. And we'll be able to see the coil. Pull everything plugged in. Oh. Get everything plugged in over there? Yep. I like for the spark to be a bit more consistent. That's acceptable. Pull it off. Unplug it. Unplug everything over there. Unplug everything over there. Pulling the spark plug. And these cylinder seven and cylinder eight get to be a little more tricky. You gotta have the size hands of a six-year-old to get back there almost. So we're gonna take the hose, thread it in. Connect your compression tester. If you want to watch that gauge, we'll give it five revs. Probably 130. 130 on cylinder six. Out. Put your spark plug back in. This thing ever gonna get tight. There we go. Put the coil back in. Put your nut back in. Tighten the nut down. Seeing a pattern here? Mm -hmm. That's a joke. <laughs> that was adorable. We were supposed to answer that. Oh, yes. No, I've noticed a pattern. What? <laughs> Alright, we're going to go back here for the hard cylinders. Where 
I need to lose about 600 pounds to be able to access these damn things. I'm going to pull this damn hose off. This side's not as bad. Next side, awful. This is cylinder seven. Oh no, feel free. Take a break, John. You wanna sit down? Would you like, would you like a drink of soda at all? Oh boy, that oh. was so good and oh, wet and cold. Oh, wet and cold, love it. Get it all <laughs> over the place. Look at this guy. What's this guy doing? <laughs> Oh, if you can't laugh, you got nothing. Alright, did you plug all those cell all those coils in? Alright. All of them are plugged in. Alright, we got the coil in here. I'll fire it up and you can check it out. doesn't jump all over the place until it does don't borrow trouble coil tester out coil out unplug coils unplug coils remove spark plug You don't even really need to get it loose with the ratchet. You can finger it out the rest of the way. I'd appreciate if that shit didn't fall on me. Just saying. I'm super appreciative if that did not fall on me. Compression adapter hose. How do we... Well, at least Dodge didn't uh, have a, the, the little lifters air lifter adjustable lifts you know on the set of the springs you know about push rods no the things oh, that the hold lash no the uh the lift support shit these have hydraulic lifters for the hood oh no to keep them up no i was talking about lifters oh the valve train hmm <clears throat> i know that was my other thing is if what uh the fuck are you talking about so i want to take my valve covers off and see what's going on there too Oh, well, looks like we'll be making another video. Because I want to clean them up, too. <clears throat> it's full of oil. What do you want to clean it? Ah, just, you want to armor all that, too? Just turn the key. One third. There you go, for the video. It's 150. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like I said, more than 120, I'm happy. Oh, you're fine. Some cylinders crank longer. Yeah, it's got 180,000 miles. If it even gets up to 150 at this point, you're doing good. Nothing to worry about. You know, your your car isn't misfiring all over the place. It's not shaking all sorts of shit. I wouldn't worry about it. Got almost 200,000 miles on it. And it's got a small V8. You're fine. And it oh, still shit. hauls ass. No, it hauls even ass. on the fucking hill. For everyone who didn't know, the 4.7 is not even a Chrysler motor. It's a Mercedes-Benz motor. And it's a pain in the ass if you ever have to do the timing. Well, that's going to be like a six-week video. There's actually a pretty good video on it. Actually, a couple of them. But if I ever have to do it, we'll be making another. I did it on my own vehicle. And I didn't like it. I can find where this goes. I'm too short for this shit. Alright. Plug the rest of these things in. Since we're 
done over here, we'll just go ahead and plug this back on to your throttle body. And then I'll plug it in. I'll go over here again. Cylinder 8, last cylinder. I like to show everyone how to do everything on every cylinder. Because it's not always easy or the same. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. No, not really. Uh, see, we're at the so we're at to get at this nut right here. See that? Yeah, you're not with my fat finger. Ah, oh, there we go. You can see that. Check you guys out. Gotta have to just push the wire harness aside to get that loose. And you gotta pot it loose by hand. There's really no way to show you it and do it at the same time. You guys can't even get that loose with your hand yet. Oh, oh okay. Alright, she hold hands over here. Now we're gonna just wiggle this loose. Let's just take this connector off. Now your hose is still hot. Right, let's plug this back in. Coil. Let's get the coil tester. Side. We'll plug all the cylinders again. Pull the coil off. We're gonna get a how you have to do this. It's kind of tricky. You have to take the extension with the socket, put it in there somehow. Drop it in there, fill it around, push it on the plug, and then you put it on the ratchet. There's not much room to work back here on the four sevens. Well, oh, there we go, we got it. And ratchet this loose as much as you possibly can with the ratchet. Because there's absolutely no room down here. And if you ever have to install a, a head over here, you're going to want the smallest 3.8 stubby ratchet you can find. Because there's minimal to no room. But you get back here, and I don't have the smallest hands I've ever seen, so. Let's see, we're gonna pull it out. Nope. Alright, put it back down there. I was debating doing these last two cylinders. But if you're going to do something to show somebody how to do it or teach something, might as well do it all. Uh, spark plug. There's a, you see them on all the cylinders. They're all new. They're all the same. Yeah, there should be less than a thousand on them. Less than a thousand miles? Yeah. Or even, not even 500 even. Yeah, not that far away. I think I did it like two, three weeks ago. Two. A thousand miles already? No. Yeah. Should be like two weeks ago. Not, not, I don't think not even uh, 300 miles. Two. I get a lot of people asking me about the mileage on different cars. Is it worth it to buy a Camry? Is it worth it to buy this? I should make a video on the math of mileage, how to do it calculate it it all depends if uh you know how well they take care of it and the oil and everything because after i show people the math behind it how much you're gonna save versus this and a camry it's like 15 bucks a tank it's not worth going out and spend five grand buying a new car
้ให้ด้วยเอ้ยเลยว่าดิจ๊ะ about 150 no about yeah fucking it says you were gonna get as close as that we're not getting any closer no that's all 150 yeah you can say that pretty close good enough within five pounds within five psi who cares five psi is nowhere near ten percent So, just thread it out, and that's really all it takes to check compression. Yeah, 60, 60 bucks, 70 bucks for the kit off Amazon. That's what I bought. And just a half hour of time. Anybody can do it. It's just nice to know have someone show you how to do it. And then have a buddy to hold the camera. Have a buddy to hold the camera. That's always nice. Since it's his car. Oh. Said I should uh, modify something for you to have this uh, phone to, you know, locked up somewhere, you know. You can, you can, uh, you can, you know, modify the stand for it. Modify. Put the coil back in there. That's the real difficult part of this job. It's getting the coil in and out. You gotta finagle. And then you gotta lift this vacuum line at the same time. Ooh, look at that. Let's just put the nut on first. How pissed would you be if I lost the nut? <laughs> then we go to pick and pull. Yeah, well, we go to pick and pull a lot, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> I should grab a couple, you know. A lot of those that as I can when I'm at pick and pull, just for that case. Because the last couple of times I did the plugs, I was, I was like so scared. Good thing for magnets, man. I had a, a boss once. He told me confidence, arrogance. Took a lot from him. Learned a lot from him. Thanks for watching. That's pretty much the whole deal. He's got this awful aftermarket air breather thingy. We just put that on. I'm going to show you. Most people don't have it. Oh, that sucks. It does suck. You need to go back to OEM. We do need to go back to OEM. But thanks for watching. Watch my video on how to how to test coil on plugs and test your compression in your motor. Thank you.